The story began in Nitro, West Virginia, more central factory that photo Herbert Tate called Ju 4 t In 1949, the chemical was exposed to human life. To this factory, 228 workers were extremely illness caught by Agent Orange. Here's the video that used the Agent Orange during the Vietnam War. During the Vietnam War, the U.S. military sprayed and dumped an estimated 20 million gallons of chemicals in an attempt to destroy enemy hiding positions in the forest. Agent Orange. The chemical used in this campaign not only destroyed the forest, but it also caused and continues to cause chromosomal damage in humans. Chemicals were also sprayed on crops. 688,000 acres of farmland were sprayed with a chemical called Agent Blue. The U.S. government claimed that these chemicals were harmless to people and only had a minor impact on the environment. But more than 5,000 American scientists disputed these claims and signed a petition against chemical and biological weapons being used in Vietnam. Despite their efforts, the United States government did not stop using these chemical agents until the conflict was almost over. In Vietnam, the reality of Americans' chemical warfare has slowly began to unfold. Agent Orange seeped into the soil and water supply and therefore into the food chain. In this way, it passed from mother to children. These chemicals remain in the soil today and are now damaging the health of the current civilian population. Vietnamese authorities are just now beginning to grasp the true scale and long-term consequences of the devastation wreaked by Agent Orange. Well, they said they sprayed us periodically, but it was mostly every day. And you can liken it to a aerosol can, spraying it up in the air and letting it come down. It come down on you. And it, they told us they were killing mosquitoes and killed the mosquitoes, and now it's killing us. And I've got three three things that's directly to Agent Orange. One was diabetes, and uh, the other one is peripheral neuropathy, and the third one is chronic lymphocytic leukemia now. Uh, when were you diagnosed with all those? Well, about 20, let's see, 20 years ago probably, diabetes, and then the peripheral neuropathy secondary to the diabetes, and seven, no, four years ago, five years ago, um, chronic lymphocytic leukemia and um, so now and the cancer doctor at the VA told me that I was lucky I had a slow killer so that's where I'm standing now uh, how how uh, how forthcoming do you feel that the government has been about this uh, problem and how it affects you personally I was low waiting on us to die I got was that I've had the same, probably 10 years I've had uh, the uh, same thing wrong with me that I've got now, the, the um, leukemia, but they only, uh, and I went to the cancer doctor at the VA hospital here 10 years ago and they said there was nothing wrong. And the same, I've got the same symptoms, my blood work was the same, but they didn't. They don't care.
They absolutely don't care. We got Vietnam veterans got treated like crap when we got home. We're getting treated like crap now. Yeah. Okay. So, um, can you introduce yourself a little bit? Oh uh, yeah, my name is Bill Bill Machus, M A C H U S. Okay. Uh, I'm 65. Okay. Uh, what else would you like to know? Is it uh, how do how do you are you a Marine or Army? No, I was Army. I was drafted Army. in the yeah. Army in okay. 1967. Okay. And uh, went to Vietnam in March of 1968. Okay. And then how long you stay here? How many? A year. A year. Uh, I was lucky. I was one of the lucky ones. I was a combat veteran. Oh. So nothing but the greatest admit, admit, <laughs> yeah. you know, the greatest uh, feelings toward. The people I had to fight, you know, oh. they were the greatest people I had to fight. Okay. But that's the way it was. So, um, during the time that you in Vietnam, you, uh, besides you using a weapon, like gun and machine, so they have a, a chemical uh, weapon, it's an agent orange. Right. Yeah, do you uh, use that too? Or? Yeah, I, yeah. Our, where we operated, yeah. excuse me, was, oh, excuse me. Uh, was one of the heavily, he most heavily sprayed areas in the I Corps, okay. which was northern Vietnam, Da Nang, and Danang, okay. above that, because I think right. I, I think I was above that. I was I was in I was around way. Yeah. Okay. From Laos to the South China Sea. Okay. That's where we operated. Oh. I was so, with the 101st Airborne Division. So we over the DMZ between north and south. Uh, well, we stayed a little bit south of that. That was mostly Marines up there. Oh, okay. That right. far. We were around way. That's where our area was. That's good. So, um, you know, after the war end, do you, uh, do you have anything affect you after you using the, uh, web, you know, the Agent Orange? Do you oh, oh. have any effect with it? I really didn't notice it until maybe 10 years ago. Oh. That's when it started hitting me the worst, you know. Uh, okay. They say I've got... The diabetes I have is caused from Agent Orange. Okay. So yeah, I'm, I'm uh, I take shots three times a day, wow. and that's pretty tough, you know. Nobody, yeah, nobody tough. else has got that in my family. Right. So most of the people, most of the guys, the veterans I know, that's one of their symptoms. Okay. Is the diabetes. Wow. So, um, you know, in, in your personal, what do you think about the Agent Orange? After the one in three, five years. I think it's bad. Yeah, bad. I've got a one of my daughters is uh, she had like four miscarriages, okay. and that's supposedly caused from that. See, that's right. the second generation. And that's what I hear it does. It goes down the second generation. Right. And one of my daughters is is blind in one eye, wow. and we took her to the doctor, and they say that was caused by Agent that orange. yeah that that Agent Orange. Yeah, yeah. so. Yeah, it, it's it's affected us, and it's affected my second generation, my family. Right. So it's 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 pretty sad. I can imagine what's going on over there now. That's very strong, you know. So um, so what do you think about the government, the like U.S. government, think about the Asian ones right now in after, you know? Did the what do I think of what they did? Yeah, what they did, you know. Well, we didn't know. You didn't know that. We didn't know. We didn't know that what they were doing. We didn't know that they were spraying us with uh, chemicals. We didn't know that. So you think that's just like it's to kill the weed and the force? Well, yeah. Some of the areas we operated in were kind of no leaves at all, no bushes, just all brown. You right. know, it looked like the earth was scorched. It looked, it looked <laughs> right. bad. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, we didn't know. We didn't know they were doing that. Wow. We had no idea whatsoever that they were spraying the areas with that stuff. We'd take baths and bomb craters and all that water was contaminated. So, but we didn't know. We had no idea whatsoever. Until right now, you just realized, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, well, yeah, when guys started getting sick, you know, and yeah. things like that showed up, and they had, to, they had to start doing something about it. Because yeah. it affects a lot of the guys that were over there. So, yeah, it, I think it's bad. I think what they did was a bad thing. Yeah, it's a killing from generation gener generation you know so yeah, yeah it, it's just hands down generation to generation now yeah, yeah. so it, that was pretty bad yeah. yeah I just hope everything's clear over there it looks like the country is pretty clear now okay. Vietnam. Yeah. yeah I was uh, reading some uh, article you know there was like a, uh, a group of USA you know come and then clean up some part of like the main spot Bing Hoa, Saigon and Danang that the 
Yeah, those are the three right, main yeah. areas. Yeah, the, yeah. And the train. Yeah, and the train. Yeah, and yeah. the train. Yeah, yeah. Right there, yeah. yeah, I guess they had to clean up a lot. But, you know, I could see the, some of the points where they did it too, so they, we wouldn't get ambushed. Right. You know, but, oh well, I don't think that worked out too well either. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you very much Sir, for your time. No problem. If I wasn't here tomorrow, would anybody care? If my time was up, I'd want to know.